Well, I think some of the language in the Marine Mammal Protection Act has, uh, was written with good intentions, but more legalistic than biological in its tone and practice. And I think that has caused some difficulties. On the whole, I think the, the act was, was a good thing, clearly. I mean, there weren't a lot of people paying attention to all the animals that were dying in, in fisheries and, 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 and being harassed and shot and so on. So it was a mess out there. And uh, the Marine Mammal Protection Act reined that mess in pretty handsomely, I would say. Um, but what it is is very unusual in that it is a Marine Mammal Protection Act, not a Marine Mammal Management Act. Were we to carry that out here in Virginia or up in Connecticut or in upstate New York or you name it, uh, Wyoming, uh, and protect every deer rather than manage deer populations, or protect every bison, or protect every raccoon, we would be in a, quite a mess, a, an ecological mess. And so what we have done with the Marine Mammal Protection Act is raise them above Marine mammals generally, those who needed to be well protected and those who were doing quite well in their own populations. But we raised them, we elevated them to a position of uh, almost deified them and um, grew a mystique around them such that you can't touch them no matter what happens. So, you know, we know the examples out in California today, sea lions can do just about what they want to do. And that's the way it's going to be. They can destroy your boat, they can get on your beaches, they can sort of bite your kid. <laughs> and that's the way life is. Um, so, uh, and it's not to say that because of that one has to change the act, but I think it should be reviewed with a more realistic approach and put more biology into it and, and, and sort of structure it the way I think it was intended. That is, we need to manage uh, marine mammal populations and um, uh, and, and, and we certainly have wonderful strategies for doing that. Uh, and we have a lot of examples of how well we can manage populations, sustain them, um, and still maintain ecological balance. Uh, so to select one animal out of an entire ecosystem and protect it against anything uh, seems at odds with nature and biology as we know it. <laughs>